Before I get back to turbo building, uh, let's take a look at some of the planned intake modifications for my first gen REX. So the stock manifold is quite nice actually. It's uh, the only stock center feed on a K-series. And uh, this flange will bolt up to any other K-series. So my only complaint about it is it's got the throttle on the top kind of pointed back towards the intake manifold, which would kind of require on like a non-RDX turbo build, uh, you'd probably have to go to um, like an air-to-water that's fixed over the valve cover, similar to how the RDX is set up. Um, of course, you could do like a 90 off of it and, and package it differently. But it's also flanged for the electronic throttle bodies, which is a negative if you're coming from cable using a K-Pro with cable ECU. Uh, however, if you're using like a Flash Pro, something that's set up for throttle cable, it gives you a lot of optionality on what other Honda throttles can be used. So here we've got a J35. It's about a 70 mil throttle. Uh, just a little bit of port work to blend the entryway a little bit. Makes it look pretty good too. And then what you're going to have to do to fit this is some pretty significant porting here. So it's like six to eight millimeters of total diameter that you're going to have to open up. Um, so you got to go with this pretty good with the die grinder, carbide bit and sanding cones. And then a bit of a challenge to kind of smooth it in, in all areas. You've also got on one side here, uh, inlet for temp sensor. So just be aware of that when you're doing the work. Uh, but went ahead and ceramic coated it. Just try to keep the radiant heat out of the manifolds. Putting some uh, stainless hardware on it, getting it all ready to go. And the runners... So for the runners, again, just kind of some very minor porting just to knock away casting flash and make it totally smooth. These are still in the diameter of stock. Um, the heads on this and the manifolds are actually pretty good. They're definitely not the worst of the K-series manifolds. One thing to be aware of when doing this conversion on an RDX, the RDX throttle has your brake booster vacuum source coming off of it. So I think this is pretty common in a lot of K-series one of the J35 or J37 throttle. But essentially what you do is you take the map uh, sensor port and you just drill it slightly wider, tap it uh, one quarter in MPT for a fitting. And I twist it in a 90 here. Uh, provide that line outlet for brake booster. Intake tubes on this are a bit more of a challenge, but not too bad. Um, so what I've done is I'm going to run stock MAF housing, not changing the diameter of that MAF housing uh, because it's obviously calibrated for the inside diameter of housing. Uh, but this is going to bolt or, well, slip fit right onto that housing with the silicone coupler. Uh, then does a 90 toward the back of the car, another 90 down, and uh, another 90 straight shot into the turbo. So uh, basically I've just built this in all three inch diameter. It's going to give it way less restriction through the bends. The OEM pipe likes to neck down as it twists a lot and you're losing um, some airflow through those turns as it decreases in diameter. So the real challenge with this is there were, what, six bungs required. Uh, you got two near the turbo. This is for your returns off your uh, boost solenoid and kind of variable geometry turbo uh, rear housing solenoid got your uh, PCV return. It's uh, about a 21 millimeter diameter. Uh, two vacuum barbs um, in a nine millimeter diameter, which are probably returns for emission systems. I'm just going to keep it simple, plug them in, even if I end up disabling them in a K-Pro or whatever. And then probably most prominently a 28 millimeter pipe, which is your return hose from blow off valve. So I've built a little bit of a trumpet here. I'm going from 28 to 35. Uh, try to slow the velocity of the gas there a little bit so it doesn't pound into the pipe, although the increased diameter is going to help there as well. 
And then I've got another 45 section, a 28 millimeter, which I'm gonna use to orient if needed. Or maybe I just cut it short and bead roll it for kind of a hose barb slip fit. But I got it all welded up, um, at least as far as the various bungs. And the first 90, got these oriented properly based off the OEM piece. Uh, but what I'm not sure on just yet is the orientation of these guys and exactly how I'm going to line everything up with respect to the car. So I got to pull off the stock pipes, put the car on the driveway for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll just simply orient them, mark them, take them. And I'm like an hour or less from having this thing on the car. Some may wonder why I chose to use thin wall stainless instead of aluminum. And I've got some reasoning on that. So number one, it doesn't corrode like aluminum. Aluminum looks terrible after like six months. It really oxidizes quite quickly. Um, it's not that much heavier if you're doing a fairly simple system, like maybe two pounds or something. It's not super significant that you're going to feel that. Um, though it is a little heavier. I'm using one millimeter wall thickness, so as thin as I could order. Uh, pretty easy to weld. It just zips together little fusion welds. Uh, but it's also because of the higher density, it transmits sound like out of the turbo, out of the engine, out of the car better. Um, I mean, if you like that, it's going to be louder. You're going to have more pronounced blow off noise, more pronounced turbo surge flutter. Um, but it, yeah, it's just my favorite material to work with generally. Love making exhaust. So I use this on intakes as well. And you'll see me do the same thing on my CRV build eventually future intake side mods that we got uh, a little bit of porting on the compressor housing just you know beveling that air inlet right into the wheel um, no anti-surge porting or anything on this so pretty simple process uh, also been ported out on the inside of the housing so bringing that out nearly to the edge of the stock gasket there's about two millimeters of overhang there. So effectively making this a slightly larger housing. And then to bolt to that, same process, uh, porting the entirety of the outlet pipe as well. And this one is right to the edge of that stock um, gasket. So I'm intentionally leaving a tiny bit of lip overhang right here. Uh, air is only going to flow in that direction normally. Um, of course, when you slam the throttle shut, you might get some reversion. This is uh, that little ridge that's left there is to prevent reversion because there's no anti-surge um, porting on the housing. So every little bit to help it, but still opening it up as much as I can. Um, I may look at doing like a 50 millimeter blow-off valve up from the stock, like um, 28 millimeter hose type. Um, and that's really just to address kind of a repeat bypass valve code that we've got. Um, the, I might um, route the vacuum and boost lines away from the existing um, kind of blow off valve solenoid they have there and just drive it direct with vacuum. That might make it open faster and uh, prevent that problem. So I'll make a video on that if that's the case. So um, that's all I got planned here in the kitchen. I got a number of things. Only other thing worth mentioning is I'm going to run a thermal gasket on this guy. I'm going to sandwich it between two OEM gaskets. And uh, that's because the PTFE is very non-compressible. So it does not take the shape of either side of that gasket. It doesn't seal very well. So I'm going to use the OEM gaskets to pinch the PTFE. And then the OEM gaskets will seal to the manifold and the head. But with that, I'm going to jump back into turbo building and start shooting another clip on our upgraded eBay turbo. So we're working on eBay turbos in two forms, kind of a slight upgrade and a high flow version with a billet and a bigger housing. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, comment, questions. Um, I'll be in the live chat for a little bit, so maybe you'll see somebody there. And we'll see you again for eBay turbo building.